Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest from Beanstown 106. It's Jelly Beans build number 10 for the Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, and a beautiful ROM as always. Now, he did take multi-window out. He did take ink effect out. Just uh, too many problems, too many things, too many bugs, and just wanted to leave it out until it gets a little bit more put together. So that stuff is out. You will not get that anymore on build number 10, okay? Now, you will be using the Aroma Installer, which will give you the choice for uh, different keyboards, cameras, kernels, launchers, MMS, email, Samsung apps, all sorts of different things. So you choose the options you want in the Aroma Installer, and then it will flash it to your device. And this is what you get here. Let's go into the settings menu first here and kind of see what we're working with. We're on uh, Android 4.1.1, which is Jelly Bean, the VRBL K3 over-the-air update. That's what this is based off of. The baseband is VRBL K3. And I did choose the lean kernel, which is uh, 1.8 from iMozion. You get three choices, the stock kernel, the uh, 1.8 from iMozion, the lean kernel, and, of course, the KT747 kernel. Those are the three options you get when you are uh, installing the ROM. We are in Jelly Beans, build number 10 by Beanstown, and an absolutely beautiful ROM Back up to the home screens here. Uh, there has been a few theme changes. You can see that the app drawer button is now round instead of the normal stock uh, TouchWiz button. So that's making it a little bit more AOSP. The phone and the messaging icon and the camera icons are uh, AOSP. Now you can see he did change the color a little bit of the gallery to differentiate the two because there's people having problems with differentiating between the uh, Galaxy S3 and the Note 2 galleries with this icon and, and the theme the way he has it. So he did change the coloring a little bit. It looks like this one over here has got a little bit more of a color around the outside while this one is still plain gray. So uh, that's kind of a new theming thing that he did for you as well. But a very AOSP look to this Jelly Beans ROM. That's what he does. Absolutely love it. Uh, a couple of the things that are new, he did take away the multi-view, he did take away the uh, ink effect, but he added some new things. Of course, we do have a choice now of different lock screens. So what you're going to do is go into your settings menu, you're going to go down to lock screens, go to lock screen options, and choose your lock screen. Now, you have a choice between all of these different lock screens here. I think most of them work pretty well. Uh, we already know the Galaxy S3 one, we know the AOSP lock screen as well. The Acer Cloud one is pretty sweet. If you go out to my lock screen here, you can see it's black and then I touch it, it will actually open the shades and then go to my excuse me, go to my home screens. Let's go in and check out another one. Alright, let's play with the Blackberry 10. This one's kind of fun. It's kind of like a shadow. You see if you drag your finger down here it brings the shadow up and down and up and down and if you go all the way up it will actually unlock it for you so that's the blackberry one so you can play with that that's uh, in the lock screen set uh, s settings and the lock screen options choose your lock screen and you have those to choose from and play around with okay so that's the uh, one of the cool things that he's also got another thing since recents now i know this was done and the ice cream sandwich builds, and it was buggy, and it was kind of messed up, but this actually works pretty darn good. If you saw there from my home screen, I just held it for two seconds, boom, they pop right up, and you can see no lag at all. I mean, this is this it goes right through them. Absolutely works great. Now, if you want to get rid of some of your stuff, you just drag up, slide up, slide up, slide up, slide up, slide up, and slide up, and of course, then of course it's going to bring you back to your home screen. So sense recents are working great on this build. No problems with that. Let's check the kernel here. Of course, I told you that I went with the uh, 1.8 kernel from iMozion, lean kernel. This one you can play with voltages. You can overclock up to 1.9 gigahertz. Uh, I keep it at 1.5. Your voltages here, they will be at 1150 when you first boot up. And if you haven't used one of uh, iMozion's kernels yet, he puts them at 1150 for a safety precaution. You will have to go into terminal emulator, type SU enter to get super user access, and then LK config. Enter. Now it's going to pull up some options. You're going to choose option number two, and that will override his 1150 minimums, and it will allow you to change your voltages. That's got to be done in Terminal Emulator. Then you can come back here and change your voltages, and they will stick. The first one, though, hasn't been sticking for me very well. Uh, 384 might be something messed up either with the app or with the actual uh, kernel itself. I don't think it's the kernel. It might be the app, but you never know. So that's the kernel that I chose. Again, you can choose the stock Beanstown one, you can choose the KT747, or you can choose lean kernel, okay? Uh, let's check GPS here and see what we're working with. GPS seemed to be locking on pretty good. I had 20 out of 21 outside earlier. Of course, I'm inside now. Boom, 10 out of 21 in a matter of seconds. So we are locking on pretty good. Uh, GPS works great. Checking the location to make sure we are in the right location with Google Maps. And... 
yes, it does have me in the right location here at work. So uh, the location is working along with GPS and it's locking on pretty quick. So no problems with that for me so far. Uh, you do have the option for AOSP messaging, which you can get. And I chose AOSP messaging over the TouchWiz messaging with all the bubbles and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty cool. Also get the choice of AOSP email, which I did choose as well. You can see what the AOSP email looks like. It is not inverted, so it's the normal one. Um, and that's the AOSP email. You do have a pull down menu here. Now when you do get notifications up here, they are slide off, so you can slide them off, which is pretty cool. You do have a choice between white or cyanogen mod blue for your colors up here, and you get a choice between five, six, or seven of your icons showing at a time when you have these, uh, when you have it in the uh, pull down, okay? So those are just choices you get in the Aroma installer, and it's all up to you. Um, and uh, pretty, I, I love the look of it though. It looks great. It looks like AOSP, so. Um, camera. Let's check the camera. You do have the choice between the Galaxy Note 2 camera and gallery, or you get a choice between the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 camera. The 4.2 camera is already installed no matter what, so you will get that one. This is the Samsung Galaxy S3 camera. Uh, it does look like there was some things that were updated on it. It looks like the theming here. The button changed a little bit, and some of the icons over here. So uh, it does look like that it was changed and themed just a little bit. And you got your galleries here. Of course, you got this gallery, and you've got that gallery. Um, both of them, of course, one of them is the uh, Galaxy S3, and one of them is the 4.2 one, which will allow you to see Photosphere pictures, okay? So the camera, uh, you do have the choice with. You get the uh, choice of, like I said, your kernels and a bunch of other options here. For some reason, with this 4x5 launcher, I can't get my Google search bar to go in there underneath the TouchWiz one. For some reason I can't figure it out but it will not go there so I don't know what's going on with that normally it goes there fine. The other thing I wanted to show you real quick is uh, the, the, that wallpaper is from the Razer M. If you go to droidview.com, there's a bunch of different devices that you can download their stock wallpapers, their sounds and all that, the ringtones, even system dumps. Uh, the Razer M's got some pretty cool HD wallpapers and I downloaded them and actually used them on my, uh, on my phone. So that's where this is coming from. But the Razer M launcher is my new favorite, okay? It looks like AOSP except for it's not and it's different and it's not touch whiz anymore so I'm really happy with it I actually been using it and I have it all set up and I wanted to show you I just have to go in here and clear my defaults if you do have two launchers you do need to go in and clear your defaults if you want to switch over to the other one otherwise it won't give you the option like that okay so touch whiz was there this is a home screen this is actually the Razer M launcher as you can see, uh, I do have the uh, the app drawer in the middle now. It looks like AOSP. I do have fully functioning clock widget here, which is sweet. You have a choice between digital clock or the regular uh, analog clock. You do have fully functioning weather on here, and you can add cities. You can see the clouds move. It's a pretty sweet widget. It works 100%, and uh, like I said, you have to go to droidview.com in order to get this. It's not included with the ROM, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Uh, if you click over left, you've got some settings. If you go right, you've got home screens until you run out. Uh, but that is the Droid Razer M launcher, which you can download, I said, like I said, uh, on your own. But back to TouchWiz here. This is a beautiful build, build number 10 from uh, Beanstown 106, Jelly Beans build number 10 for the Galaxy S3. Give it a try, download it, have fun with it, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos at YouTube.com and Droid University for the latest and greatest on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Check out my channel, and thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.